so guys welcome back to ifix tech so if you are someone that used to print a lot you will know that after a certain amount of printing your printer will give you some error like this one this epson you will start getting that the printer maintenance box is at the end of its life and depending on what printer you have and also the use you may need to change the maintenance box but what you must do also is reset the waste encounter for that we need to download a software and we're gonna do it from inkchip.net you're gonna select the option for week or waste encounter select the language that you prefer and you should be able to choose where do you want to store this file after the download process is done you should be able to execute the file remember this will only works on windows so no max then let's start the installation inkchip offer many solutions for different printer brands and, and many other problems so make sure you go to the website and check everything they offer okay now that the software is installed you will need a key a reset key you will go back to inkchip.net and buy as many keys as you need most likely you will need only one unless you are someone that have many printers but i don't think that's your case make sure you copy and save that key Key. now what we're gonna do is connect the printer to your computer using the usb cable also make sure the printer is connected to the power and turn it on now we're going to open the software when it loads you will see different options you're gonna use the waste encounter now you're going to select which one is your printer on the first option you should be able to see the current state of your counter like this number you see right now should be all in zero to fix that we're gonna get that key that we get from inkchip we're gonna copy it now reset waste encounter copy here okay you're gonna wait a few seconds and depending on your printer you may have to follow all the prompts after that you're gonna get this message saying done please restart the printer in order to finish the counter reset process just go ahead reset your printer and you should be able to get back to printing as normal also you can use the software to check the current status of the counter like if you read waste in counter you should be able to see that all those numbers now are in zeros now you should be able to just go ahead and close the software this is a process on a very different printer so after you press that okay you should be able to just go ahead turn off your printer turn it on and it should be working as normal but if you do not change the main box make sure that from time to time you go ahead and check the ink pad capacity failing to do that might prevent your printer from working well so you want to make sure it is clean here are some examples on how to access that main box on different apps on printers depending on your printer you may need a screwdriver so i really hope this video have give you an idea on how to fix your issue with your printer down below in the video description I will leave the inkchip.net website so you can go there and check everything they have to offer thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video